good YouTube, this is Boy J Watts back with another video for you guys. I know it's been a while for those videos, but I got a very more efficient video for you, my team gamers. Um, this video, as it pertains to the title, is how to be more efficient of a smart player in my team. And the reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of people, I'm not saying make dumb decisions. It's not to say dumb decisions, but what I will say though is, this is to help you guys understand how to make the more smarter IQ plays with going into my team. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna talk over um, some of my stream gameplay. I'm not really gonna literally talk about the gameplay itself. I'm just gonna be talking about a lot as far as in what you guys can do to improve your game when going into my team, especially for you 12 and 0 players that are really trying to get that worthy or just trying to go 12 and 0 in general so you guys can get the gist and get the hang of just being confident going into any game and every game that you're coming into. So with that further ado being said, we're going to a stream that I was streaming last night and pretty much just based around being a more efficient player within my team. Um, the number one thing that I always come out with saying is making the smarter passes. I always get the question in my chat and it's always, how can they be a greater player or a great player in my team? Um, it's really not a easy answer for that. I mean, the easiest thing I can say is learn how to shoot. And when I say learn how to shoot is know your player's jumpers. Know every single player's jumper. Have the comfortable confidence in every single player's jumper. Go into freestyle, shoot green, 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 green. If you become a green machine with every player you can do, you'll be very confident going into unlimited, like like a what you would call 2K gods. Um, that's very much, pretty much the, the best thing I can answer when it comes to that question. Number two really is like saying, okay, I see a lot of people pro hop, like rim run and pro hop. Now, um, on fast breaks, right? If you ever running a fast break and you see, let's say a three against one or a two against one or a three against two, a lot of people try to tend to still attack the basket. In 2K, a hand up is a contest. If you're under the rim with a hand up and they don't dunk the ball, you're gonna be contested layup, you're gonna miss that layup. Try not to always do layups. If you see an open man on the wing and you pass it to him, don't continue to keep going to the rim. Because what you're doing, if the def if the defense of that man is already at the rim and is trying to chase you down and block it, don't continue to keep going to the rim and try to dunk on him. Pull up a two midi. The more open you are, the better success rate for you to hit your shot. So if you're on the wing on the fast break and you pass that ball to the wing, and he's open, take that pull-up jumper right then and there every single time. It's a money shot guaranteed. If you can green it, fabulous. If you can't, 85% of the time it's gonna go in. Don't get the ball and let your man catch up with you because what you're doing is, you're allowing your man to try to come and contest your layup or your dunk. So do not give the opportunity to contest you whatsoever. So if you're at a deep distance and you see him on that wing, hit him early, take that shot, knock it down, next possession do the same thing over and over and over again until you get confident and comfortable with every single player's jump shots i'm telling you that's the biggest thing as well also as well as in knowing your playbooks now there are a couple of play playbooks out there that a lot of people use differently um knowing how to get out of certain situations certain jams whether if you run a five out whether if you run a 13 uh, miami heat playbook um there are certain plays that can get you out of a jam to where you can get an easy bucket if you know what you're doing you know what you're doing also, as well as in knowing the cheesier, the cheesy moves behind what players like to do, which is they'll run into your man, say for instance, you're on defense, right? And they come to the ball, what they would do is they'll run into one of the one of the defensive players and cut him off from being able to switch to the next player and he'll just kick it out for a three or open two, whatever it is. You gotta know how to maneuver around that. You gotta know how to switch the defense, switch to that player, dodge, dodge the player from getting bumped in two so that way he can recover back and stick his man what he was doing. You have to know and have to seek out certain situations in certain moments. As you guys can see, what I do, every rebound what I do is, I try to give it to the point guard, or I push up the floor, open shot. You see those open shots that I take right there? That same shit, you see all that. Take it, that same situations. It's a three against two. If I see you on the wing and you're open, I'm going to take the shot. I'm not going to catch it and keep running to you to try to dunk on you. No, I'm not. Sometimes you want to switch it up, though. It's like playing chess. You want to play chess 
when playing 2K. You don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again unless it's working. If it's Green Bean Money Team and it's working every single time, keep doing it if they're not going to step up, if they don't have a counter to do that. But if they have a counter and they see that they can stop that now, now what you do is you switch it up. Then you go to the rim because what he's going to do is he's going he's gonna to contest. So if, he, if you kick it out and you see he's coming in super close to contest, you keep going. That's when you'll keep going to the rim. You got to play chess. It's like playing mind games with your opponent. At the end of the day, this, these steps and efficient ways can get you guys right and, and better in my team to go 12 and 0. And like I said before, shooting jump shots is just the biggest thing that you want to definitely get, you know, get comfortable with doing. I can't, I can't attest that enough. And a lot of people don't know how to, you know, agree on a consistent basis. And you want to agree on a consistent basis. Um, let me know in the comment section below what, what, what type of situations did you guys counter, encounter to where you guys feel non-confident going into a limited game. I want to hear y'all feedback because I understand a lot of people don't have the confidence going into a, like an unlimited match or going into like a game 12 when they, when they end up losing. Um, now we do know 2K can, can throw us some shady BS to where we get frustrated with. Now you want to sometimes keep your composure. But the biggest thing ever is, like I said before, learn the jumpers, learn the jumpers, learn the jumpers. That I can't, like I said, that's the biggest thing you want to do. Um, you know, especially, and, and, and I'm telling you, if you guys want to learn how to flood people and blow people out, just being efficient and active every possession, getting it up the floor, hitting the open man on the wing and taking the jumper instead of just wasting time trying to go to the rim and do a contested layup, you guys can, can start blowing people out. Like, I blow people out. I'm not saying I'm the only one that do it, but just telling you guys, it's, it's pretty much like smart basketball IQ. You know, why go to the man on defense when you're open for a jumper? This is not real life. This is a simulation basketball game. All you have to do is time a jump shot. So if they're open, shoot everything. And the reason why I say shoot everything, because there's no such thing as a moving shot rating. There's just a, there's just a three ball, the mid range, the close shot. Whatever you do, shoot it. It's gonna counter the same effects. If he has a 79 pull, if he has a 79 three ball, you can shoot a moving three ball and it'll still be a 79 rating at the end of the day. I, I take pull up threes with Kareem and that's Green being like money team. So at the end of the day, Kareem should not be doing a pull up three. But you know what I'm saying. Last year they had something like that to where they were able to, to show you a moving shot rating. This year they don't have that. So pretty much every three ball rating that they have, it's matching whatever the three ball rating you can just shoot. So you can shoot a fadeaway damn near and it'll be the same rating. Now if you can green it, good. If you can't, oh well. But I'm just saying in general, man, like these efficient ways to get you guys more comfortable and confident going into my team. And I appreciate you guys always vibing out with your boy with the contest as usual. Um, and, you know, just let me know what you guys, what else you guys would like to see in regards to just anything, man. You know, I know I put videos out. I know you guys want to see certain things on, on content that I do drop. You let me know in the comment section of what else you want to see me drop as far as in knowledge or as far as in tips, as far as in gameplay i mean i'm trying to figure out what, what more can i post for you guys with my team besides just posting gameplay of players because you know you guys sometimes you guys want to see me play with players i know you guys see me play with a lot of players um on stream on twitch so at the end of the day you guys get to see a lot of that gameplay over there as well um also as well as in man you know speaking of 2k i know you guys this is pretty much the 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 dead in the 2k 20s my team to where a lot of cards are starting to drop is becoming opals um, I said that Opal Worthy would drop. I, mean, I haven't said that Opal Worthy would drop, but I did say that Opals will start dropping in, in the Player of the Month. Uh, call, uh, the packs will have cards more so than anything. So pretty much just from now on, just be ready to start seeing more Opals you know, and coming into the game. Um, and, you know, the, the biggest thing about my team is that a lot of these players are starting to become good because of the players, not because of their play style because of they've been playing this way the players does help out a lot because the 99 tendencies that that they give on the players from the opal to the pink diamonds it make it easier for these guys to compete especially when you're hitting a full bar and they're open and i'm not sitting there saying it shouldn't always go in but it seems like now 80 percent of full whites go in and that that's ridiculous but at the end of the day, I don't know what this feels like. It's on rookie. I feel like it's on rookie. If it's on superstar, it's on superstar. But the way they make this play of the game, they make it feel like it's on rookie, man. How, how the way the way people hit their jump shots. But 
you know, I'm just saying, bro, I've been trying to put out a lot of content for you guys. I've really been appreciating you guys vibing with your boy, um, you know, especially on Twitch, as I'm about to be able to apply again pretty soon for partnership. So hopefully we can get that partnership. Um, you know, without you guys, I would keep myself going. So, you know, make sure you guys turn on notifications. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification because we're almost at 2K subs. And, you know, and let's, that's, that's just the beginning, man. Let's get to 2K and let's get to 5K and let's get to 10K. And let's try to push for greatness. And, you know, of course, you know, for more than anything else. You know, there are sub goals at the same time, bro. The grind don't stop. We're going to keep pushing for every situation. Um, but, yeah, man, I, I really do appreciate you guys man, for tuning in to this video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. If you do, like I said, join the crew. You know the vibes. Gonna be rocking. You know we do. And always follow the Twitch. Everything's going to be in the description. Follow the Twitch, the Instagram, Twitter. You know the vibes, man. This is your boy about to sign out. On that note, I'm RJ.